Hey everybody, just a quick video today. I wanted to remind you or maybe show you for the first time just how flexible the drummer tracks really are. Now, I know that you're all used to the drummer regions like we have in the middle here. And when this is selected, you get the matrix for the simple, complex, soft, hard, and all the other uh, different elements. I've looked at in previous videos how we can also do the MIDI regions directly on the drummer track, but we can also do the step sequencer on here as well. So we can actually do a combination of all three of these types and uh, for different reasons we would want to do that. So the, the step sequencer, I like the note repeat option so we can add in some really cool variations to this. goes into the drummer track, which we can just do straight ahead patterns. And with the MIDI, this is probably one of the easiest ways to customize fills and just to make the patterns our own instead of just relying on what uh, Logic provides. So all three of these can work side by side. We could use the step sequencer just for fill areas if we wanted to. Uh, we could just, you know, convert different parts to MIDI. Uh, the one thing I wish we could do was convert a MIDI track into a step sequencer track. I'm hoping that comes in a future version because I'd really like to be able to say, you know what, take this and just make it into uh, the step sequencer track so that way I can do some of the cool step sequencer things with it. Right now we can do almost every other direction. So I can convert a MIDI region to a drummer region I can convert a drummer region into a MIDI region, and we can convert this into a drummer region or into a MIDI region. So for instance, I could do this where we actually um, copy this data and turn it into a MIDI region. So uh, we have all of that. We just can't go from the step sequencer into a MIDI or I mean the MIDI into a step sequencer, which is what I really would want to be able to do sometimes. Take this data, just have it dumped into the step sequencer format, so then I can continue working with some of the cool tools that we have here. Okay, like I said, just a really short video today, just showing how flexible that can be, and uh, you don't need to necessarily limit your drummer track experience to just one type of these regions when you can mix and match all three. Okay. Uh, that's it. We're going to be doing a little bit longer videos coming up the next couple weeks over the holiday break. And um, so keep on checking back and we'll be doing more.